welcome to worshiptutorials.com. We have a gear demo for you today. We're going to have a lot more gear demos coming in the future because, you know, Brad and I like gear. Um, in this video, we're talking about hold the... Hold on, hold on. I feel like that's an understatement. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> okay. In this video, we're going to demo the DSM and Humboldt. Is it Humboldt Electronics? Mm -hmm. Simplifier. Simplifier. Which is an amp replacement in a pedal. Or actually, what they say is a zero watt stereo guitar amp. I think so it's not they necessarily say it's the an, world's first. The world's first, huh? Zero watt amplifier. Well, yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say it's an amp replacement because they're saying it's an amp. It is an amp. Everybody wants to find out who's making the best direct in. Yes, yeah, that can be any number of things. That yes. can be something like an aux box by UAD that sits on top of your amp. And you can still use an amp. And you still use a traditional tube amplifier. And that can be a Line 6 Helix, an HX Stomp, a Strymon Iridium, a Kemper, an Axe FX. The and amplifier. There, there are lots of there are companies plethoras. that are coming out with these direct solutions. This is completely analogs. Yes, yeah, we not digital at all. I don't understand what that means. Like, I don't understand how this thing works. There's no emulation in it. It's all analog components. There you go. There's no digital modeling involved at all. There. Yeah. So, if you're like, I don't want digital. Here you go. This ain't digital. Okay. And it's direct in. You can see here that Bradford has amassed quite an awesome little board. And we actually did some behind the scenes footage. So, we'll show you the playing samples. We'll talk about all the different features it has. But now we're going to, we did some behind the scenes footage of putting this board together, which was pretty cool. So, here it is. This will kind of serve a couple purposes. A lot of okay. people ask us about order, signal order chain, yeah. signal chain order. First off, if you're gonna use fuzz, which I grab, I have this high road fuzz, it's really cool. It's from Mythos. If you're gonna put a uh, fuzz on your board, it should be the first thing your guitar hits because something to do with impedance, blah, 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 I don't understand. So it's first. <laughs> well explained, Red. I just, I just do what I'm told. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, going into the Bloom compressor, it's become one of my favorite compressors. Who's this by? This is Jackson Audio. Okay, cool. Um, it's got a few different settings, but then it's also got an EQ if you press both these buttons, and you got a little boosty boost if you want to do that too. Uh, and then we're going into, these are all kind of my favorite pedals currently that I've been using, so I, I figured it'd be cool to put them all on the board. This nice little M Drive Mach 2 from Emerson, mm -hmm. and this lovely pink. Then, this has also become one of my favorite drive pedals, the Duelist. Okay. This side is a blues breaker style, and this side is a tube screamer style. I've been loving his take on these. They sound great. This tensor here is by Red Panda. I love reverse delay. So this is almost like a super controllable reverse delay in a box. And then I'll use the two specular tempis. Is that how you would say tempest in plural? What do you say? Tempi? Tempi? Tempies? Who knows? I don't know if I'm saying weird words while I say I'm just what saying What do they exactly. do, Bradford? This one's my delay, and this one's so my reverb. So they do delay and reverb. They can. There's actually algorithms to do delay and reverb together, um, which is cool. But I like I like having one delay, one reverb. So we're using all that. And then into the simplifier, and into it's going to be last. Simplifier. Uh, well, it's almost last because you got to use the little, in order to use stereo, you have to run this. In the effects loop. In the effects loop, basically, yeah. So we'll go out of the tensor, we'll go into this, and then out of that, we'll go stereo into these jokers. So really quick, what's the signal chain? Bloom, M drive, Duelist. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still deciding, I may go to the tensor and then the volume, just okay. because of how, I may do that. Um, and then we'll go to the simplifier, and then we'll go to the tempuses. And then straight out to? Straight out into to the Apollo. To the Apollo. That's thir how we're thirteen. That's how we are clear for takeoff. <laughs> that's how we're gonna. That's just an Apollo we're... eight, isn't it? Yes, it is. And, and then we're gonna, gonna use sounds. that guitar. Move your head that way. We're gonna use that guitar for this video. Oh yes, the Odell that is on loan to us for the Ooh, day. I like how that did that, Brian. That was fancy. That's pro. That's pro camera work. That's pro camera work. So the kind of the first thing that Brad and I typically, or at least what I typically gravitate toward, is the Vox AC style tone because it's my favorite. You're actually more of a Fender guy. Than, I uh, am. Than, at least than me. I'm, uh, yeah. I and like so, sounds. Yeah, so we're going to show you a few samples of what this thing sounds like. This is uh, using the Vox AC style uh, setting 
on the simplifier. So let's talk about features that this thing has. You might notice there are lots of knobs, lots of switches, lots of things that you can uh, manipulate. Like uh, a lot. Yeah, so at its core, what you get are three different amp type tones. Okay. Again, you get the Vox AC30, the uh, Fender Deluxe, and the Marshall Plexi. Those are the three sounds, and that is the switch sort of on the top right, the three-way toggle. You have then, completely separate stereo cabs. So you have a left cab and a right cab, and those cabinet emulations can either be a 1x12 cab, a 2x12 cab, or a 4x12 cab. And you can flip on either left or right channel which one of those that you want. Then above the cab switches you'll see you have mic placement, and the mic placement dials go from direct on the cone Center. to off axis. Yeah. Then you've got a presence and a resonance knob. And when you mess with those, what would you say resonance does? The, when you turn it up, it kind of gave it some like depth and body. Yeah. And I've got there, so if you go to their website, by the way, this thing is currently back ordered. So uh, I think this is popular. And I will say too, price wise, they're asking 329 for this pedal. And there's a bass version as well. Okay, so you've got. Um, for bass players. Yeah. That's what it's for. Not B-A-S-E. Yes. So the presence is the high mid. It's like a presence. Presence is really, when you see the word presence, you can think of it as another highs control. It's just a different frequency spectrum than, usually you got low, mid, high. Uh, presence is just a different spectrum in the highs. Yeah, if you're not able to adjust what frequency you're uh -huh. hitting more specifically, typically it's just the same thing. And this is what they say about resonance. Controls the low end and resonance peak caused by transformer speaker interaction and tube amps. So basically, I don't um, know what that means. It just makes it when we. I heard low end. Yeah, nailed when, it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. When, <laughs> when we were messing around with it, it just added more oomph in yeah. the low end. And it ends. kind of like took the sound, and it didn't just like make it bass heavy. Like you turned the bass up, it actually mm -hmm. got the sound kind of got like bigger, rounder, yeah. and and and, uh, and almost gave it some depth too. Yeah, and then you've got a three band EQ in what they call the preamp section. You got low, mids, highs. So below the resonance knob, if you're coming down the center of the pedal, you've got a tube emulation selector. So you can select from, what were they? 6L6. 6L6, which is EL... typically found in a Fender amp. Okay. And it's EL34, 34. which is the Vox AC Vox. style. And then KT88. I would assume maybe that's what you find in a lot of Marshalls. On the sort of the front side of the unit, there is a headphone out with a, with a level control. And here's a cool trick that the simplifier does that some that for example the Strymon Iridium does not. It has this effects loop in it, and the headphone out will give you what's in the effects loop. Yes. So that's one of the things when we talked to them at NAM, they said this does this thing that the Iridium doesn't, so it kind of solves that problem. But on this, there's also uh, an aux in too. So if you wanted to run stereo effects 
and practice. Oh yeah. And only have this on like your laptop or phone or whatever and headphones, silent practice. Like that's the other input over there, right? Yeah, the other input. If mm -hmm. all all you ever use this for was like a practice solution, even it's awesome. it's still awesome considering for three thirty. Because if you're gonna get like uh. If you're gonna get like a little preamp, a little interface for your computer, yeah. and plug in and do all of that, like that means you have to have your computer. Your computer has to kind of sort of be able to keep up. It's just it's a little extra step, and it just depends on what you'd rather do. Yeah. I'll hook up to my computer any day of the week, but to have a unit that small, you know, fit into your your gig bag, or you actually use it for your rig, I mean, mm -hmm. you heard it. Like it sounds great. Mm -hmm. So you could take just out from your phone into this thing. And yeah, there's a little aux in, run mm -hmm. some music in there and practice for Play some music or whatever. Yep. Yeah, is there a separate volume control for the aux in? No, there's You'd not. have to control that on the device itself then. Yeah. Okay, and on, on the right side, there is a spread switch. And they do like a phase type of a thing to give it more of a stereo spread. Mm -hmm. So that would be something that you would experiment with, see if it sounds good for you or not. That is basically what you get with the simplifier. So there are no like... The, the Iridium, so the, the thing that this, I would think most people think this would compete with would be the Iridium, which has digital modeling, IRs, uh, and it has reverb in it. And this yeah, does it's not. Yeah, it's got a little something. Right? Like and this does not. So the, but this has other features that the Iridium doesn't as well. Another thing that is pretty big for a lot of people, mm -hmm. there's XLR outs. So yes, you don't have which to, we are uh, using. which we are using. Mm -hmm. so, but you, so you don't have to like run you know, like the, the stomp, it's balanced right. quarter inch, so you can do that to like an XLR right away. And like mm -hmm. the Iridium, you need to use a DI of sorts, or there's some other things people are using, but uh, this removes that, so. That's just balanced XLR out, just left XLR and right. XLR and so straight on out. And you're in stereo as well. So when it comes to routing, you you do have quarter inch left and right out, and you can choose to, one of them is can be a through. So like you can run it to uh, another piece of hardware and it just sends your dry signal through. Yeah, uh, okay. So you can have an out that has the affected signal of the simplifier and then a through, which would just pass your dry signal through as well. So it's pretty uh, advanced. Like it's a small, it's a tiny little package. You can see here how big it is. It's just the size of a, an effects pedal. Yeah, it's about the size of like the you know, like pedal. A, but like, you know, like, a, like any sort of a standard overdrive kind of a pedal. Yeah. Um, although it sits sideways and so but it is it packs a lot in there We haven't opened it up to look at it I'd be interested to see what it looks like on the inside, but as far as routing goes signal processing. It's really robust And it sounds really good. We're speaking of let's hear some more of it. So we heard the Vox AC thing uh, Why don't we do some fender tone? these kind of gear demos a lot of times I don't care as much about what people play because there's so many factors like the things that they play it's nice to hear stuff but there are so many factors that go into the way something sounds mm -hmm. like the guitar you're using the feel that you're you know the way you're playing it the pedals that you're running in front of it uh, often what I want to hear is people's what their experience with it is yeah. and how they feel about you so what what is your experience now that you've used this thing for a little while, what do you think? Like, what are your thoughts on its tone, its versatility, that kind of thing? It's weird to me <laughs> that, first off, this is all analog, but that's, yeah, that's hard. That's I'm pretty like, crazy. how is that work? How are you emulating a tube amp? Yeah. With, yeah, but the second thing is, is, I said the same thing about like the Iridium, like, mm -hmm. I was like, how is this unit sound so good? It's yeah. the same thing, it's just, we're, it's year 2020, yeah. and we are, like options are in oh, there's so great many. supply. Yeah. There's so many options. 
Um, I think it's mega cool that you can get real specific in things with dialing in, you know, the mic placement and the cabs. And that's really cool. And so for some people, you may be like, I don't necessarily care about that. Yeah. But another way to look at it is, is like, it's, it, it's not EQing, but it's still like shaping your tone. Right. So you can, you can do whatever you want and just find out how to get things, how to make things do mm -hmm. what you want it to do. Um, you know, the size is ridiculous. It's powered, by the way, this, this whole board is powered with two Strymon Ohi's. Mm -hmm. So even this simplifier just is powered nine, with Just it. nine volt yeah. power. Yeah. Nine volt. Like a one spot will power this thing. Yeah. Easy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're not using anything super. So for me, when I look at how easy it is to use, how small it is, the power requirements aren't crazy. There's mm -hmm. XLRs on it. I mean, this is a, a slick unit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it should be raising the bar for all the other companies out there which just like they all have something that's like kind of shines for their individual yeah. products yeah. um but like this is probably one of the most feature packed yeah uh, you know aside from like you know you look at the stomp there's a oh, plethora the of effects a million different things yes right? yeah. but like there's still things that you're you may not like about the stomp you may say it's too big you may say it's more money it's than you need to spend twice as much Over yeah twice no about twice it's as about much. twice as much like yeah. Like, so, I mean, everybody's got a unit that they could gravitate towards for different mm -hmm. reasons. So, I love this because, it, I mean, it's just, it sounds really good. Yeah. Like, I, it's like, I, I can't wrap my brain around how it's all analog. The and future it's is now, like, Bradford. The future is now, old man. That's right. I agree with you. I, I was in, I was very impressed with it at NAMM. Just out, running Yeah, just phones, straight away. Just straight out of the thing, yeah. you know. Um, and that's when I was like, we got, we need to do a demo on this because this thing is, people are going to start talking about it because yeah. it's really cool. Um, it, it, the, the thing that I know that, that if you're watching this, maybe you're going to be disappointed that we didn't a B it against an Iridium or a stomp. Uh, and we, we could do that in subsequent videos. Yeah. Let us know if you want us to do that. I'm sure overwhelmingly, yes, do that. But, um, it, it sounds good and i think it it can sound in the ballpark of those other units yeah it's just a little like, different it sounds as good as the great digital modeling solutions that exist yeah right now you don't get you know in the stomp you get how many different amps are in that thing yeah i don't know like 20 30 50 ton, something right if the fractal fm3 is available at this point who knows when that's coming but if it's already out it's not out yet you know that's gonna over 100 amps in in fractal land right uh, and so if you have something like a Kemper, it's what it's every amp yeah. <laughs> in the Kemper. Thank you, Jonathan Sullivan, as he continues to profile the world, you'll have every Hashtag amp available. Profile That's right. And so there are so many solutions and they all sound really good. Yeah. And so, um, I know people are going to say you need to A, B it against this and that, but really the, when it comes down to it, you, you have to pick the unit that fits your workflow best. Yeah. There really isn't a sounds best. I mean that's becoming so subjective, and thing and people talk about feel and which one feels this way or that way. Yeah. Um, to me, this sounds and feels great. Yeah. And if you're able to demo one, or if you like the way this sounds in this video, this very well could be the solution for you. Or if you want, like, if you use a tube amp and, and pedals, and you want something like, you need something you can just put on your board. Uh, if you don't, if you want to go somewhere quick and don't want to take your amp with you, Bradford dropped a pick. Uh, this is a great thing to just put on your board. Same with an Iridium, same with a Stomp. Yeah. It takes pedals well. I was impressed with how well it takes drives. Like it doesn't, uh, one thing about these things is what separates the men from the boys sometimes is they fall apart when you throw overdrive in front of them. There is gonna be something about the way these guys created this that may resonate with you better than any of those other units. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, this doesn't have any menus that you have to dive into. No, what you there's and there's no alternate. So like the Iridium looks simple, but there are still secondary yeah, there's, functions. There's hidden controls. There's yeah. th this is the knob is what you get. Yes. So yeah, this is very this may much, speak to you very much. Like if you like the fact that when you play an amp, it's like what the knobs are is how it is, and it's like you know really what you do with all these alt controls on these units it's like you're going into the amp circuit and changing things like you're soldering things and changing values and stuff like that doesn't if if you if that is you don't like that which a lot of people don't like that then this could be it for you like yeah. what you see is what you get you control the controls and and it sounds great boom town speaking of let's hear some uh marshall, marshall plexi 
tones. Fire! addition into the world of direct in solutions mm -hmm. and like we said if no menus straightforward what you want like that's mm -hmm. your thing if you like the way this sounds i like it it's different like mm -hmm. the the vox sounds like a vox but it doesn't sound like the uh, ac30 or the vox that's in the stomp like they all sound different mm -hmm. you know so if you like the way they sound you like this approach you like this setup i think it's very cool it's it's I'd say it's unique in some ways, but it's actually not unique in a good way. Like it just, yeah. it just delivers what it needs to deliver. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it lives up to its name. It is the simplifier. It is the simplifier. It's a great name. Yes. I mean. And a huge thank you to DSM Humboldt Electronics. Thank you for, for letting us take this thing home and play with it and demo it and show it to the world. Uh, like I said, they're great guys. Check out the website below where you can get one. If they're not still back ordered, who knows? These things are getting popular, I'm afraid. And we didn't mention this guitar. Huge shout out and thanks to uh, Odell. Odell. Keith Odell. This is not our guitar, unfortunately. We're borrowing it from a friend yeah. at the moment. <laughs> but this thing is killer. And so we'll, I mean, link, we'll, we'll drop a link to Odell Guitars underneath. So he's uh, local. like He's based here in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. He's about two hours away from us. Mm. I want to go to his shop. That means he's an hour and 15 minutes from me. I want to go to his shop and watch him build awesome guitars. Yes. Maybe we can go do a feature on Odell Guitars. Ooh. That would be cool. Because uh, this guitar delivers the goods. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, check out links below to all these things that have been in this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.